LG makes some excellent phones, and the brand is known for its sound quality. With some models having dual screen capabilities and accessories on some of its handsets like digital pens, LG is a brand worth exploring if you're in the market for a new phone. In this video, we're breaking down the best three LG phones on the market this year, based on price, performance, features, and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at LG phones in every price range, so whether you're looking for a budget phone or a dual screen LG phone, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which LG phone will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So for the most up-to-date information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start by looking at the LG G8 ThinQ, our choice for best overall LG phone. The LG G8 ThinQ retails for around $500 and stands as one of LG's best overall phones to date and feels as slick as it looks. The G8 has a nice 6.1-inch 3120x1440p OLED display that produces vivid, saturated colors. You'll find the peak brightness is more than usable even in bright sunlight, and the display is certified for HDR10 and covers 100% of the DCI P3 color gamut. Plus, of course, with its Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, you'll have no problems when it comes to performance. The display is covered with Corning's Gorilla Glass 5, while the rear uses Gorilla Glass 6, which is designed to withstand multiple drops. And because the G8 has a top bezel that houses electronics, there's no need for a notch that cuts into the display. The SIM tray has a rubber ring to seal the opening, which helps to uphold its IP68 waterproof rating. You'll also find a single mono speaker and a headphone jack powered with a quad digital to analog converter. The dual camera setup features a 12 megapixel f1.5 camera and a 16 megapixel f1.9 camera and gives you sharp and punchy colors. The front camera has an 8 megapixel f1.7 camera and a time of flight sensor that's an essential part of the facial unlock and the handprint unlock where the phone can scan the veins in your hand to unlock your phone. You'll get around 5 hours of screen on time, which is on the shorter side, but generally enough for a day of use, but you'll need to charge it every night. As LG's best overall phone, the G8 ThinQ delivers some great features wrapped up in a slick design. If you're looking for LG's best overall phone, this one is a top choice. But keep your eyes peeled for LG's next major phone release, the LG Velvet, which was launched in South Korea in May. It's going to be a bit more mid-range, but it still has the potential to be an exciting handset. Next, we'll be looking at the LG G8X ThinQ, our choice for best dual-screen LG phone. The G8X ThinQ is LG's best dual-screen phone and at around $650 is a multitasker's dream. At its core, the G8X is a normal Android phone, but features a second screen that sits in a case that you snap on, turning the G8X into a clamshell that swivels around 360 degrees like a Lenovo Yoga laptop. Dual screens ramp up productivity, letting you run two apps side by side. It's also great for scheduling with email on your left and Google Calendar on your right letting you reference each as you create your calendar event on the right screen. It's also handy if you're shopping and researching products at the same time, eliminating the need to keep switching between tabs on your phone. And with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor and 6GB RAM in tow, you shouldn't have any problems running apps and games. It's about as fast and powerful as top devices out there and includes 128GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot. The 6.4-inch HD OLED displays are colorful, sharp, support HDR10, and get bright enough to be viewable on sunny days outdoors. The G8X is also one of the few flagship phones left with a headphone jack, which utilizes a 32-bit Hi-Fi Quad DAC for high-quality music playback. The stereo speakers sound good, too. There are two cameras on the back of the G8X. The 12-megapixel main shooter and the 13-megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera can snap nice-looking photos in good lighting. The front camera has a large 32 megapixel sensor, but in reality, it uses pixel binding technology to absorb more light for better low light selfies at an 8 megapixel resolution, so the results are pretty middle of the road. Battery life also suffers a bit when using both screens, so you'll have to charge the G8X nightly. On its own, the LG G8X ThinQ is an average phone, but slotted in the case, an LG's best dual screen phone becomes forward looking. If you want to see the benefits of a foldable dual screen phone firsthand, the G8X is an excellent option. Last, we'll be looking at the LG Stylo 5, our choice for best budget LG phone. If you're in need of a good phone, but are a little cash strapped, at around $200 you can get your hands on LG Stylo 5, which is a solid budget phone that even comes with a stylus. The Stylo 5 is a large phone, it's also fairly thick, which is understandable because it has to accommodate the stylus. 
It also carries a large 35,000 milliamp hour battery, which can power this phone for as many as two days with normal usage. The phone's body is made of aluminum and plastic, which isn't the most luxurious, but it does feel sturdy. Thankfully, there's no giant notch on the display, and there's a USB Type-C port and a headphone jack. One sacrifice that this phone has to make for having a built-in stylus is that its single speaker grill is weak. This is not a phone for listening to music. Flip the Stylo 5 and you'll see a 12 megapixel rear camera with a flash, and right beneath it is an extremely responsive fingerprint sensor. The Stylo 5 is powered by a Snapdragon 450 processor paired with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of expandable memory, which is pretty standard for a phone at this price point. Running apps and multitasking with it is generally very good, although it does tend to struggle with more graphically demanding games. Still, it works perfectly fine for web browsing, messaging, checking social media apps, and the occasional Minecraft game. And LG has added a few useful utilities that you can use with the stylus, including a memo pad, a screenshot markup cropping tool, a gift creator, and for the young at heart, a coloring book. You can also access Alexa by double pressing the power button so you can set up appointments, play music, ask a question, and manage smart home devices. For a budget phone, the Stylo 5 takes good photos, but it's not the best in low light conditions. But with ample lighting, you won't be embarrassed to upload photos taken with it on Instagram. The LG Stylo 5 offers decent performance, Alexa compatibility, a fantastic digital pen, incredible battery life, all at a great budget price. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now. So if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.